I might be drunk by the time we start this shit. Thank you for the workout series on fucking Netflix. Let me make sure you speak to a medical professional or a licensed professional before you make any major changes to your life. amazing that you live in such a decent wholesome place that they can even enforce rules like that because oh. niggas just would look and be like dickhead i fucking dare you to give me a ticket for putting this couch out that's josh playing like he's from southwest yeah Two chocolate girls go right on the outside. Right on the outside. Right on the outside. Oh, 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 good. I think expert Nike trainers demonstrate how to weave vinyasa inspired yoga into your daily life and build strength and unlock the energy of your body and mind. Yes. Okay, let's do, you know, let's do the intro episode. I'm here for that. Okay. All right, hold on. It's, it's being a little slow. Okay, cool. I'm ready to press play whenever you are. No, bitch, don't auto start. Netflix, you got to stop with the auto start. I'm Brandon. I'm, I'm here with my soul sister, Trisha. Hey. Huh? How many seconds are you in? Literally, it says 11 minutes and 37 seconds left. You're kind of blocking the start. All right, ready? One, two, three, play. Super honored to be here with you today. Today's 10 minute flow is designed to unlock the power and the magic of the upper All body. Right. We got this. No Cheers, equipment friend. needed. We're gonna start off in a seated position, just like this, I'll oh. be kneeling. Okay. Trisha's obviously sitting in regular cross leg pose. And I really want you to focus on breath. Remember, without breath, there is no yoga. So in and out through the nose, breath is the fuel to your practice. So once you find a seated position, I just want you to close your eyes and just bring your awareness into the moment. Oh, wait, I got Notice your contact with the Press crown. Press pause. No. Lengthen the spine. Top of head reaching towards the sky. You can close your eyes for a second if you want. Just tune in. Tune into the moment. And maybe tune into an intention. What goal, vision you have for yourself in your practice today. And from here, we're going to start off with a simple head roll. So you're gonna drop your chin to your right shoulder and roll through to the left side. And this is an opportunity just to drop into the body and begin to become aware of what you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling tight, maybe you're feeling open, Whatever that may be, just observe it. From here, we're gonna inhale the hands high, reach up to the sky, and then exhale, drop your right hand to the ground, reach over, elongating that left side, fingers shooting out overhead. You can stay here in the static position or you can drop your forearm deeper, or maybe you create a little movement here. Once again, yoga is intimacy with the self. So really tuning in to your practice. From here, slowly inhaling up, both hands reach up, shoot those fingers up towards the sky, drop your left hand down on the other side, reach over, lengthening that entire right side of the body. How are you feeling, Trisha? So good. Awesome. So reach those fingers up and over, maintaining that contact with the ground once again you can drop to the forearm or maybe you create a little bit of movement here once again breath is everything so make sure you're focusing on each inhale and each exhale from here inhale back up reach those fingers up to the sky one more time exhale bring the hands down to the thighs we're gonna go into some spinal waves. It's one of my favorite exercises to get the spine awake. So we're gonna inhale, arch the back, chest forward, look up to the sky. Exhale, roll everything down, hollow body, push the back of your spine 
behind you. Inhale, open up. Exhale, hollow body. Keep that up at your own pace. I want you to begin to notice how the breath affects the posture. Each inhale, the skeleton expands, space is created. Each exhale, you're able to drop a little bit deeper into the pose. Got about one more round. Tuning into that intention, tuning into that goal, will always help you go a little bit deeper into your practice. From here, we're gonna transition into tabletop. Feet are rooted, knees are bent, fingers facing forward. Push into the ground and lift those hips up to the sky. Glutes are active. This is an incredible opener for the shoulders and chest. Everything's engaged. You can stay here or you can create a little bit of movement. Explore space, explore your physicality. Maybe I move forward, maybe I come back. Once again, learning to listen to your body, listening to what it is you need. From here, slowly begin to come down. We're transitioning into quadruped. So I want you to open up those fingers really wide, palms pushing into the ground. We call this hasta banda, handlock. And from here, bring the belly button in, stretch out your right hand, palm to the sky, left heel pushing behind you. This is a beautiful movement that virtually anybody can do and that benefits all athletic levels. Engage the abs, breathe into length, and again, focus on the breath. All right, slowly come down, reset, opposite hand lifts up and out, push your right heel behind you. Once again, don't take it too seriously. Have fun with this. <laughs> Pull the belly button in. Do your best. That's all that yoga asks from you is to do your best. Everything else takes care of itself. Beautiful. From here, slowly come down, pushing into child's pose. This is one of my favorite poses. Toes together, knees wide. Drop your forehead to the ground or you can stack your hands on top of each other. That might make it a little bit easier. But this is an opportunity to surrender. Surrender to the ground and allow yourself, allow the pose to do what it needs to do. From here, we're gonna pull through onto your stomach. Hands are directly under the shoulders. Tops of feet rooting into the ground, squeeze the glutes. We're gonna use that inhale to come up into a baby cobra, activating the glutes, activating the lower back. Exhale down. Inhale back up. I want you to really focus on lengthening the spine, lengthening the back of the neck. Make sure you're long in this pose. Exhale down. And this last one, yogi's choice. Come up into cobra. Maybe your hands are on the ground. Maybe you lift up. But the key here is length along the entire backside of the body. Good job. And bring it down. From here, push back onto the knees and flow all the way through into that downward facing dog. Beautiful dog, Trisha. Open your hands wide, fingers pushing into the mat, shoulders rolling away from the ears, slight bend in the knees, tailbone reaching to the sky, heels dropping down. Holding this downward facing dog, playing with this downward facing dog. Maybe you move, maybe you twerk, maybe you wave. And if you want, you can go into these waves. You come into this high plank and then roll back, allowing the spine to wake up, allowing the upper body to move. Beautiful. Once again, can you tap into that curiosity, that childlike state of wonder and begin to explore your movement potential? Beautiful. From here, high plank, knees come down, chest comes down, stack your hands, 
forehead on hands. I just want you to shake out your hips, neutralize the spine. Let's take one big inhale together and then exhale out the mouth. Oh, yes. Beautiful. From here, you're gonna take your left hand into a push-up position and your right hand's out to the side, chest opener, right ear comes to the ground. I want you to take your time here. Slowly begin to lift your left leg up and over like a rainbow. Take your time here. It's super important that you breathe into your edges. And as you begin to breathe and soften, you may be able to go deeper and eventually touch the ground. But just know, wherever you're at, that is perfect. So honor your body, honor your practice. And then once you drop into this pose, really begin to focus on your breath. Each inhale, the skeleton expands. Each exhale, you drop deeper into the pose. Breathing deep. And then slowly begin to come out, super slowly, super gently. Stack your hands on top of each other, forehead on hands, shake out those hips again, neutralize the spine. And then same thing onto the other side, yogis. Right hand roots into the ground, left hand reaches out, left ear to the ground, and then slowly begin to open up that chest, lift that knee up to the sky, bent leg, almost like a rainbow, left ear pushing into the ground, feeling super supported. And then once you find your edge, that's when you begin to breathe. That's when you begin to work with the pose. And then slowly, slowly, slowly beginning to unwind and coming out of the pose so gently, so slowly. Stacking the hands on top of each other one more time. Forehead on hands, neutralize the spine. And then from here, we're slowly gonna meet back into seated position. Trish, you're awesome. Way to go. Woo! You did it, friend. Thank you so much. Thank you Remember, so much. It's a I yoga really like practice, that. not a yoga perfect. You showing up and doing your best is oh, all that like, you need I don't to know do how to get the benefits out of yoga. All. I'm Brandon. Thank you again for joining me today. Health in the body, peace in the spirit, love in the heart. Peace. Peace. We did it. Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Tell her friend. No. Do 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 drugs, kids. Do drugs. If they grow from the earth, if they grow from the earth, shrooms and weed only. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have you hit the like button? Have you hit the subscribe? Have you done it? Have you? Have you? Have you? Okay.